911, let's head this severe emergency. Hi, my name is Chad Herman. I'm out here at Roland, Nevada. It's up by the border of Nevada. Uh huh. We found a, a, a lady that's been uh, in her van for since March 19th. And she's about, she's about dead, and her husband took off a month ago for help and never came back, so I'm sure he's dead. Okay. Um, where are you again? In Roland, Nevada. It's on the... I know where Roland is. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a plate for the van? No, it's a Canada, but I didn't look at the number. Well, she's been in it for a month? She says March, March 19th. And her husband left on March 22nd and never came back. Did she, um, are you out in the middle of nowhere with her? Yeah, we were out here riding around. We came in from Wild Horse on four wheelers. And uh huh. The roads are washed out. She's stuck in a ditch. And we drove down to the Stoll's place here at Roland to get a. And she is she she must be conscious. How long has it been since she's eaten, or do you know? I'm not sure. She said she's been living only had water. She said March 22nd when her husband left. She's been living off. Okay. You know, we're we're sending, this is dispatch again. We're sending a helicopter up that way, a medical helicopter. Okay. How far from the Roland area are you at? The, are you at the Roland Ranch? Yes, I am. You're at the Roland Ranch, and how far is she from you, and in which direction? Nine miles. Nine miles what? South of all. She's nine miles south of you? Yes. Chad, is that road snow covered or do you know? Um, from where she's at to towards Elko is all snowed in and washed out. It is, okay. All righty. Um, so he may not be able to get up there. Um, I don't know if he could get from garbage either. Do you think he could get, somebody could get up there from the Elko side or is it? No, we got in on four wheelers and we were having a real tough time. It took okay. Wheelers, you know, and is and Jim, is there an option at transporting her to the Roland Ranch if these guys transport her or do you want to try that? Um, well, I guess my thought was is if the helicopter can get up there and they can spot these guys, could, could they give them the general direction of where this van is? Would they be able to see it from the air? Yeah, they can see it from the air. What color is the van? Tan. It's, it's a, got some bright blankets hanging out of the doors and stuff. It's got stuff hanging out of the door. If they, could, if they would be able to spot it, they could probably figure out where to land and go snag her out of it. Yeah, at least they her could. Her out of it for right now. Yeah, at least her. Yeah, I'm asking, I wanted to ask Chad if they could make maybe meet the helicopter on the Meadow Creek Road and show them where this is. Yeah, there's some corrals there and a bridge over the Bruno River, and we'll be sitting right there. She, so she is right there. Is that where you were going to meet? That's where we'll meet her. Okay. And That's where they're going to meet the helicopter on the corrals and the bridge over the Bruno. Okay. And how many four wheelers are there or motorcycles, Chad? Two four wheelers. Two? Yep. Two of them. Okay. So you want? Are you going to call over to some of there and explain? Yeah, we've already people? got we've already got some going. I know exactly where they're at, so or where they're going to meet them. So I'll go get the coordinates from NDF and okay, okay, and I'll Let get us back. Know what you need from us, okay? Uh, okay. All right, thanks. Uh huh. Thanks, Jim. Yeah. You bet. All right, are you hanging up uh, with Chad too, or? Um, yeah, I think we're good. It's going to take them a bit to get there. They've got to go nine miles. Okay. All righty. I guess. All right. All right, Chad, and we'll keep in touch with you, or you'll be looking for the helicopter, okay? We'll just look for the helicopter. We don't have any. You won't have any service there. Okay. All righty. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Jim. All right, thanks. Bye. Okay. Bye.